the tumultuous years between 1917 and 1937, the world witnessed a descent into darkness unlike any other in history. From the Russian Revolution to the rise of totalitarian regimes, this period marked a time of upheaval, oppression, and conflict. The spark of the Russian Revolution ignited a fire that would engulf the nation, leading to the fall of the Romanov dynasty and the rise of the Bolsheviks under Lenin's leadership. Under Lenin and later Stalin, the Soviet Union underwent radical transformation, with policies of collectivization, industrialization, and repression shaping the nation's destiny. Meanwhile, in Europe, the Great Depression fueled social unrest and paved the way for the rise of fascist movements. Adolf Hitler's ascent to power in Germany heralded a new era of totalitarianism and aggression. As tensions escalated, the world plunged into the darkness of World War II, with the invasion of Poland and the Blitzkrieg tactics showcasing the brutal reality of modern warfare. The horrors of the Holocaust and the widespread devastation of war served as stark reminders of the depths to which humanity could sink in the pursuit of power and ideology. The years between 1917 and 1937 stand as a testament to the fragility of civilization and the enduring struggle between light and darkness in the annals of history. As the world teetered on the brink of darkness, the years between 1937 and 1941 marked a critical juncture in history. From political purges to the looming specter of war, this period was a time of uncertainty, fear, and impending conflict. Narrator In the Soviet Union, Stalin's Great Purge cast a shadow of terror over the nation. As political opponents, intellectuals, and ordinary citizens fell victim to ruthless purges and executions, leaving a scar on the fabric of Soviet society. Across Europe, rising tensions and territorial ambitions set the stage for conflict, with events such as the Anschluss of Austria and the appeasement policies of the Munich Agreement, highlighting the precarious balance of power on the continent. The hour before midnight arrived with the outbreak of World War II, as the invasion of Poland and the Blitzkrieg tactics unleashed a wave of destruction and chaos, setting the stage for a global conflict that would engulf nations and reshape the course of history. Amidst the darkness of war, acts of resistance and courage emerged, as individuals and communities stood up against tyranny and oppression, embodying the resilience and spirit of humanity in the face of adversity. The years between 1937 and 1941 were a time of reckoning, as the world stood on the threshold of midnight, facing the challenges of totalitarianism, aggression, and the looming specter of war that would define a generation. In the summer of 1941, a storm of steel and fire swept across the vast plains of Eastern Europe, as the forces of Nazi Germany launched Operation Barbarossa, the largest military invasion in history. The echoes of ancient conquests reverberated as the Goths rode eastward, heralding a new chapter in the annals of war. As the sun rose on June 22, 1941, the tranquility of the Eastern Front was shattered by the thunderous advance of the Wehrmacht, as millions of German soldiers, tanks, and aircraft surged across the border, aiming to crush the Soviet Union in a blitzkrieg of unprecedented scale. The Goths rode eastward with a ferocity unmatched as they clashed with Soviet forces in a brutal struggle for supremacy. Cities lay in ruins, landscapes were scorched, and the siege of Leningrad bore witness to the indomitable spirit of a people under siege. Amidst the chaos and carnage, the Battle of Moscow emerged as a pivotal moment in the conflict, as the Red Army rallied to halt the German advance and turn the tide of war. The harsh winter of 1941 tested the resolve of both sides, as the fate of nations hung in the balance. As the Goths rode eastward leaving a trail of destruction in their wake, the human cost of war became painfully clear. Yet amidst the devastation, the resilience and courage of the Soviet people shone brightly, a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. Narrator, the echoes of history reverberated across the plains of Eastern Europe in 1941, as the Goths rode eastward in a cataclysm of war and conquest. The legacy of Barbarossa would endure as a testament to the enduring spirit of those who faced the storm of steel and fire. In the crucible of war, two cities stood as beacons of resilience and defiance amidst the chaos and destruction of World War II. Leningrad and Moscow, caught between life and death, bore witness to the triumph of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity. As the German forces laid siege to Leningrad, the city became a symbol of endurance and suffering. Cut off from the outside world, its inhabitants faced starvation, cold, and relentless bombardment, yet they refused to surrender, clinging to hope in the darkest of times. 
Meanwhile, in Moscow, the Red Army stood firm against the onslaught of the Wehrmacht as the Battle of Moscow raged on. The fate of the Soviet Union hung in the balance as the defenders of the capital fought with unwavering determination to repel the enemy and protect their homeland. Between life and death, the people of Leningrad and Moscow endured unimaginable hardships and sacrifices. The streets were filled with the echoes of war. Yet amidst the rubble and ruins, acts of heroism and solidarity emerged, a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Soviet people. As the siege was lifted and the tide of war began to turn, Leningrad and Moscow emerged from the shadows of death, their resilience shining brightly in the face of adversity. The sacrifices made and the victories won would forever be etched in the annals of history. In the crucible of war, Leningrad and Moscow stood as symbols of courage, endurance, and hope. Between life and death, they bore witness to the triumph of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable challenges, inspiring generations to come. Amidst the turmoil of war, a complex web of collaboration, terror, and resistance unfolded behind enemy lines, shaping the course of history in the darkest of times. The fight from within, waged by individuals and groups, would test the limits of human morality and courage. In the occupied territories, the specter of collaboration loomed large, as some individuals chose to align themselves with the enemy in pursuit of self-preservation or ideology. The lines between friend and foe blurred, as betrayal and opportunism cast a shadow over communities torn apart by war. Terror reigned in the occupied lands, as the brutal reprisals of the occupying forces struck fear into the hearts of the populace. Resistance was met with ruthless violence as the price of defiance grew ever higher, testing the resolve of those who dared to challenge the oppressors. Yet amidst the darkness, sparks of resistance flickered to life, as brave individuals and underground movements defied the odds and fought back against tyranny. From acts of sabotage to clandestine operations, the fight from within took on many forms, each a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who refused to bow to oppression. The fight from within came at a heavy cost, as resistance fighters faced capture, torture, and death at the hands of their oppressors. Families were torn apart, communities shattered, yet the flame of resistance burned bright, a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. In the crucible of war, the fight from within revealed the complexities of human nature. As collaboration, terror and resistance intertwined in a struggle for survival and freedom. The stories of those who dared to resist, to defy, and to fight from within echo through the annals of history, a reminder of the enduring power of the human spirit. In the crucible of Stalingrad, the fires of war raged with unparalleled ferocity, shaping the course of history and testing the limits of human endurance. The epic battle that unfolded in the city's ruins would become a symbol of sacrifice, resilience, and the indomitable spirit of those caught in the cauldron of war. As the spring thaw of 1942 turned the battleground into mud, the two sides paused, exhausted from months of relentless conflict. Stalingrad, a city reduced to rubble and ash, bore witness to the horrors of war, where frozen green Germans and gray Russians lay side by side amidst the debris of battle. The defenders of Stalingrad, led by General Chuikov, stood firm against the onslaught of the German forces their determination unbroken despite the overwhelming odds. In the midst of a city reduced to a fossilized hell, they fought with courage and tenacity, their spirits unbroken even as death loomed around every corner. The day Chuikov arrived in Stalingrad, the final push to the river was underway. The streets were barren, the trees stripped bare by flames, yet amidst the desolation, the defenders held their ground. As the battle raged on Mamayev Kurgan and the banks of the Tsaritsa River, the fate of Stalingrad hung in the balance. The Battle of Stalingrad exacted a heavy toll on both sides, with casualties mounting and the city's infrastructure reduced to ruins. Yet amidst the chaos and devastation, stories of heroism and sacrifice emerged, a testament to the resilience and courage of those who fought in the cauldron of Stalingrad. In the crucible of Stalingrad, the cauldron boiled with the fury of war, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of history. The sacrifices made, the courage displayed, and the resilience shown by those who fought in the ruins of Stalingrad will forever be remembered as a testament to the human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity. In the summer of 1942 and 1943, the fields of Kursk became the stage for one of the most significant battles of World War II. The citadel of Kursk witnessed the clash of titans, where the forces of good and evil converged in a struggle that would shape the course of history. 
As the German and Soviet forces massed their troops and armor for the Battle of Kursk, the rolling fields and strategic positions of the region held the key to victory. The stage was set for a monumental confrontation that would test the resolve and mettle of both sides. Field Marshal Model and General Hoth led the German forces in their preparations for the offensive at Kursk, aiming to deliver a decisive blow to the Soviet defenses. On the other side, General Zhukov and the Red Army braced themselves for the impending battle, ready to defend their homeland against the onslaught. The Battle of Kursk reached its climax at Prokhorovka, where the armored might of both sides clashed in a brutal and decisive engagement. Tanks roared, artillery thundered, and the fate of nations hung in the balance as the battle raged on, marking a turning point in the conflict. As the dust settled on the fields of Kursk, the scars of war became painfully evident. The sacrifices made by the soldiers on both sides, the lives lost, and the devastation wrought by the conflict served as a stark reminder of the price of victory. Yet amidst the ruins, the spirit of resilience and determination endured, a beacon of hope in the darkness of war. In the heart of Kursk, the citadel bore witness to the courage and sacrifice of those who fought in the crucible of war. The Battle of Kursk, spanning 1942 and 1943, will forever be remembered as a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity in the face of adversity and tyranny, as the shadows of war began to recede. A new chapter unfolded in the annals of history. The years of 1943 to 1944 marked a period of transition and turmoil, where the echoes of conflict lingered, and the promise of peace seemed but a fleeting illusion. The scars of war marred the once vibrant landscapes, as cities lay in ruins and the specter of destruction loomed large. The sacrifices made by countless individuals, the lives lost, and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity painted a poignant picture of the cost of conflict. Across the theaters of war, the forces of good and evil clashed in a relentless struggle for supremacy. From the Eastern Front to the Western Front, from the Pacific to the Mediterranean, the ebb and flow of battle dictated the fate of nations and the course of events. The year 1943 brought both hope and despair as victories and defeats intertwined in a complex tapestry of conflict. From the decisive battles that shifted the balance of power to the strategic maneuvers that shaped the outcome of the war, every moment was fraught with significance and consequence. Amidst the chaos and uncertainty, the human spirit shone brightly, a beacon of hope in the darkness of war. The courage and resilience of individuals, the sacrifices made for a better tomorrow, and the unwavering determination to persevere against all odds painted a portrait of humanity at its finest hour. As the false dawn of 1943 gave way to the harsh realities of 1944, the world stood at a crossroads where the promise of peace and the specter of war intertwined in a delicate dance. The years of 1943 to 1944 will forever be remembered as a time of transition, turmoil, and transformation, where the echoes of conflict reverberated through the corridors of history. In the waning days of World War II, the world witnessed the final act in the grand theater of conflict. The year 1945 marked the culmination of years of struggle, sacrifice, and determination as the forces of good converged to bring an end to tyranny and oppression. As the Allied forces pressed forward on multiple fronts, the momentum of war shifted decisively in their favor. From the battle-scarred landscapes of Europe to the distant shores of the Pacific, the tide of history turned inexorably towards the defeat of tyranny and the dawn of a new era. The year 1945 bore witness to the pivotal moments that sealed the fate of the Axis powers. From the liberation of concentration camps to the storming of enemy strongholds, each victory brought the world closer to the long-awaited moment of triumph and liberation. As the final days of the war unfolded, the world held its breath in anticipation of the inevitable. The surrender of the Axis powers, the fall of the swastika, and the celebrations of victory marked the end of one chapter and the beginning of a new era of hope and rebuilding. Amidst the jubilation of victory, the world paused to remember the sacrifices made and the lives lost in the crucible of war. The resilience of the human spirit, the courage of individuals, and the enduring legacy of those who fought for freedom painted a poignant picture of the human experience in the face of adversity. In the twilight of 1945, the swastika fell, and the world emerged from the shadows of war into the light of a new dawn. The year 1945 will forever be remembered as a time of triumph, tragedy, and transformation, where the echoes of conflict gave way to the promise of peace and the hope of a better tomorrow. In the aftermath of war, 
a new chapter unfolded in the annals of history, where the shadows of conflict gave way to the rise of a formidable figure. Joseph Stalin, a man of contradictions and complexities, emerged as a central figure in the tumultuous landscape of post-war Soviet Union. Through a carefully crafted cult of personality, Stalin ascended to a position of unparalleled power and influence. Propaganda, imagery, and rhetoric were employed to portray him as a larger-than-life figure, a symbol of strength and authority in a time of uncertainty and upheaval. Under Stalin's rule, the Soviet Union became a place of fear, surveillance, and control. The cult of personality that surrounded him stifled dissent, crushed opposition, and instilled a sense of awe and reverence that bordered on worship among the populace. Within Stalin's inner circle, a complex web of power dynamics played out. Sycophancy, fear, and manipulation were the currency of the day, as those around him vied for favor, avoided his wrath, and navigated the treacherous waters of his unpredictable temperament. Beneath the veneer of power and authority, Stalin grappled with personal struggles and fears. His paranoia, obsession with control, and morbid preoccupation with death painted a portrait of a man haunted by his own mortality and the specter of damnation. As the legacy of war intertwined with the cult of personality, Stalin's rule cast a long shadow over the Soviet Union, shaping its destiny and leaving a lasting impact on its people. The cult of personality that elevated him to near-deity status ultimately became a symbol of the dark side of power, control, and tyranny in the post-war era. As the dust settled on the battlefield and the echoes of war faded into memory, a new chapter began in the narrative of Russia's war. Myth and reality intertwined to shape the collective memory of a nation scarred by conflict and transformed by sacrifice. In the aftermath of war, Russia stood at a crossroads, grappling with the legacy of conflict and the challenges of rebuilding a shattered nation. The human cost of war, the scars of battle, and the resilience of the Russian people painted a poignant picture of endurance and hope in the face of adversity. Amidst the myths and realities of Russia's war, a tapestry of narratives emerged weaving together tales of heroism, sacrifice, and survival. Beneath the surface of myth lay the stark realities of war, the complexities of human experience, and the enduring legacy of a nation tested by fire and forged in the crucible of conflict. The impact of war reverberated through Russian society, reshaping its identity, values, and aspirations. Amidst the ruins of conflict, new opportunities emerged, new challenges arose, and new horizons beckoned as Russia sought to navigate the uncertain terrain of post-war reconstruction and renewal. As the myths and realities of Russia's war converged, a nuanced portrait emerged of a nation shaped by its past, present, and future. The enduring legacy of conflict, the enduring spirit of resilience, and the enduring quest for truth and reconciliation painted a complex and compelling picture of Russia's journey through war and peace. In the epilogue of Russia's war, Myth and reality intertwined to create a tapestry of memory, meaning, and reflection. As the nation looked back on its past with a mixture of pride and pain, hope and healing, the echoes of war resonated through the corridors of history, shaping the narrative of a nation forever changed by the crucible of conflict.